Bayer and CEO Jan Christian Dresen, when asked about Julian Nagelsmann returning to the club, says, never rule out anything in football. Jules, what did Nagelsmann, <laughs> now, what did Nagelsmann himself have to say about it? Well, he said that the answer was very clever, Gab. And that, of course, is right, that you never rule anything in football. I mean... Wait, it's like they're flirting. I know, they're flirting they're again. They're pussyfooting around each other. He's obviously on gardening leave from Bayern, so they still, he's still their guy, in a way, I guess. And we know that, well that his experience with the national team should stop after okay. the, the Euros unless something happens and he wants to stay. And in that case, the German FA and Bayern will have to find an agreement. But what if Xabi Alonso doesn't go then? What if they can't find anybody better than Nagelsmann? Could they call him back? So this is a smart thing for Dresden to say because yeah. it puts pressure on Xabi Alonso and whatever. Yeah. I, realistically, though, to bring him back 15 months after you sacked him, I mean, um, yeah. I mean, that takes big, big stones. <laughs> it does. Hey, I'm a big Julian fan. Me I too. want to see him back. Yeah. Producer Freddie is obsessed with a story about the freaking Harry Kane statue <laughs> in East London. Um, Jules, I'll let you handle this. Yeah, because yesterday, for the first time, I believe, Gab, we finally saw a photo of this statue that was hidden for many years well, the, the, of the, Harry Kane. Tell us, first of all, how this statue yeah, came. Yeah, so I think Chingford or the, the council, like, Chingford Council, so in East London, where Harry Kane is from, uh, had the great idea of getting a statue made of the greatest player ever born in Essex, I guess, right? Ahead of... Is this uh, Bobby Ray Moore Parler. from Essex? Yeah, but better than Harry Kane, Ray Parler. Bobby Moore? Bobby Moore? Is Bobby Moore from Essex? I, I, I don't, don't know, know about know. Bobby Moore. David, David Beckham? Beckham. Let's, let's, let's okay, not say the okay, greatest one, player from One Essex. of the greatest. The greatest player from Chingford. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, one of the best players in Essex football history. Whatever. Anyway, I mean. Oh, so he, David Beckham's from late. Sorry, Bruce Freddie in our years. So David, he's, from, he's from. He's from Essex. David, David Beckham's from Leighton Stone. They went from the same school. Anyway, from Essex. Right. I mean, one of the first alarming thing was that their budget for this was £7,000. So I, can, I could have told you even before this was created that a statue worth that. Little would not have been great. And by the way, it's not a small statue. It's, right? it's a size, a normal size. It's statue. a life-size statue. Yeah, yeah, okay. like the one you see outside Emirates, for right. example, of like Thierry Henry and Arsene Wenger, then he's back, etc., etc. Except that this one is horrendous, and that's why they hid it for so long because they, they didn't want anybody to see it because it's so bad and so. He's ugly. like sitting down, isn't he? Yeah, it's a weird. Uh, the pose is weird. Um, but again, it doesn't look like him. It's, it's really badly done. A bit like the Cristiano one that they still put up in every sense of the world outside Madeira Airport. So I think the difference with Cristiano one is I think Cristiano likes the Cristiano one. Yeah, Cristiano and likes secondly, everything by himself. Sorry, but the Cristiano one is clearly stylized. It's not like it's a natural... It's like a stylized yeah, still ugly. version of Cristiano's face. I know, but... But the Harry Kane one, it's just... I, it, honestly, I don't know. You know, do, you know, do you know what it looks like? It looks like somebody commissioned somebody in China to like build like a, a get, get like a 3D like printer. Like Alibaba. Uh, what? <laughs> delivered yeah. by Alibaba. Uh, worse, like 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 Temu or something, and went and like got a 3D printer, and they just made a, a, a plastic mold out of it. Harry should buy it. She really, Harry should buy it. Give a bit of money it. to Chingford and put somewhere in his garage. And I, that's it. I don't know. This is ridiculous. 